All right, immediately running back out and looking for Derp Don Lair. Um, I decided to not do a reset and to go and explore the field to the quote-unquote weird place it sometimes spawns. This means it's going to be a boring mock over there because there's nothing alive here. So in the last video, my battle mage died a couple times. Which is really rare for him. And uh, the reason for him, for him buying it twice... Um, the first, I think he hit a reflect damage patch, and there really isn't any way around um, like there's no way you can really deal with that. I mean, there is a a devotion section that's um, I think it's just one tree that one or two trees have reduced reflect damage. Um, where in the hell is the lair? I've never had it be this difficult to find. It's usually really easy. It's in one of the. It's almost almost always when I do it. It's in one of the first areas I went to with the bugs. I don't know, I may have to reset to get it. Because I honestly cannot tell you where it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Unless it's right there. I mean, maybe it could be down there. Yeah, I'm a little put off by not immediately finding the damn place. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay. So, to, in, in summation as to what just happened. Yeah, normally I, I find it here or here. Sometimes it can be up here, and I think I've had it up here once. So yeah, I just walked by it without seeing it. It'd be funny, it'd be funny if it's actually on... Like, actually on video that I, I walk by it, like, and don't even look at it. So we're looking for the two, uh, what are they called? Viziers. Looking for the two Viziers, then I'm gonna go down and grab that Devotion Shrine, which I believe is an Elite. Wait. Gotta check, gotta check that database again. Yes. <laughs> that is one that is still in there. So the Viziers are always in the same... Well, they're not in the same spot, but they're always on this level. Dude, we dinged. Squad Tactics is getting better. And I think I did two in Physique already. So let's do... We'll do Cunning then Spirit. That 
So, you know, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm like, you know, I think... I think combining with Soldier is going to be, like, the best way to combine a character together for any class. Like, if you want to do a specific thing in one class, and you just need, like... And you don't really care about having any sort of special ability going on. Um, I actually think Soldier is going to be the best comboing class. Because... Um, you're gonna get a ton of defenses out of it, which are great going into like elite and ultimate. <clears throat> but uh, now that like squad tactics gives you movement speed, like that just hurries you along. And and there are things like like if you don't need a caster offhand, you could go for a shield and get shield training, and have like a ridiculous defense setup. You could have oh geez, we have to play both of them here. Great. <laughs> Luckily, one decided to run away. Guess not. But Soldier also has things like Fighting Spirit and um, um, what do you call it? Not Markovian's Advantage. I mean that is there though. <clears throat> I should just look up the damn class thing because it's right here. Uh, Fighting Spirit and Mainer's Will. Does that require a shield? Shield or two-hander. Um, man, we have to do some backtracking. So it's like... Yeah, the, the class has a lot to offer other classes. Offensive ability, defensive ability, movement speed, total damage. It's like, it's a nice set of things you can get out of this just one class. So it's like... <clears throat> um, yeah. I, I think Soldier's gonna be a great combo... comboing class. I think Soldier and Arcanus um, <clears throat> are two classes that actually go well with a lot of other classes, because they, they just have a lot of generally good buffs that work with everyone. I mean, obviously there are certain things you wouldn't go to Arcanus for, like if you're maybe doing a bleeding build, you could find better options elsewhere, but... Uh, Things like Myven Sphere Protection and Iskander's Elemental Exchange. Just really solid abilities that go with lots and lots of builds out there. Mirror of Arachtes is probably your best one point wonder in the game. Um, Soldier Soldier has like war cry and squad tactics slash field command. Great things if you're weir if you've got a shield on, it's just veterancy you can get, you know, heavier armor easier. that poison clear out a little bit. Oh yeah, Arcane Will is another really great ability. Nullification's great. So yeah, these two classes just provide a lot of 
Just a lot of awesome stuff. And obviously they go great together too. Like if you're doing um if you're doing like a very castery battle mage, it's a really good combination. If you're doing a really um Ooh. Ooh. Those are gonna go on my other character. I think I found some pant upgrades for my Aether Ray Arcanist. Yeah, poison is really difficult to deal with right now for this guy. <laughs> I didn't see the toast for a devotion point, so what's left? There we go. Desolation. Now I'm coming over here because we get a freebie unique guy we can kill. Like I said, poison is actually really detrimental to this character right now. Guile. The gladiator. Just throw them both on the pile. Yep, the queen's next, and that's going to be a rough one. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be... It's... Like... The amalgamation, like, I didn't expect it to be a rough one, and it kind of turned into a bit of a rough one, but uh, the queen is going to be a pain. Especially her, her first form, where she just throws out poison puke, and you have to deal with a crap ton of infinitely spawning adds. Yeah, squad tactics, though, like, really do hurry the character along. So my basic strategy leading up to this fight is kill as many things as possible before you actually go and fight the queen because the enemies will most likely see you while you're trying to fight her. And you generally don't want to get harassed by a, by ads during a boss fight. I also try to take out um, the eggs as best I can. Because the eggs can spawn little guys. And although the little guys aren't probably going to harass this guy, my, my battle mage, too much. Um, 
in high numbers, they can get really annoying. So yeah, we're just gonna either activate them by getting close or just running up and actually destroying them. And we're going to hit and run her. A lot. Let our, let our constitution take care of our health. Okay. Because once she's, once she's down, she becomes a hell of a lot more manageable. She's still going to deal poison damage to us, but, like, she's not going to have a poison damage cloud anymore. And that'll cover floundering around looking for the lair and then going through the lair, getting another devotion point, and killing the queen. Up next we are going to either do the Pine Barons or just jump right into Act 4 content. Um, so thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.